My name is Ray Welsh and I make Windsor chairs. In this video I would like to show you how I make the long a complex spindle for the American comeback Windsor chair. The prepared blank that I have here is a slightly bigger than three quarter inch or 19 millimeter square and it's 31 and a half inches long or 800 millimeters and it's of dry, hard, straight grained American maple. The moisture content is about 13 percent. After chucking the blank in the fore jaw, I'm using the skew chisel to give an easy start for the three quarter inch rounder. The dead centre in the tailstock is an old Morse number no. two drill bit, ground down to a little less than nine millimetres. The handle of the rounder rubbing on the lathe bed steadies the whole operation. Finishing the end of the stick at the bench is easier now because the corners were removed earlier. Back on the lathe, I am marking the fat point of the stick at 6 inches or 152 millimetres from the base. I use two trapping planes, neither of them being Chippendale, but both do the job well. Number one removes a big shaving and number two is set for a finer cut. This is a 3 8 sizer, about 9.5 millimetres, made from an old file. Now it's the number two trapping plane taking finer cuts. If the planes are at right angles to the stick, they remove a lot of wood. Change the angle towards 45 degrees and they remove less. The taper joint for this chair is located between 10 and a quarter inches and 10 and a half inches from the base. The taper rounder cuts a taper measuring half an inch to seven sixteenths of an inch over a distance of one and a half inches or in metric it's 12.7 millimeters to 11 millimeters. The location of this taper will be decided later on during construction. Trapping plane number two takes another little bit off the bulge. I like to get around 10.2 millimeters in the midpoint between taper and tip.
Now I use a skew and a 13 mm scyther to reduce the base tenon. At time of construction, a three or four inch piece of hacksaw blade can be used as a scraper to bring the joint to a squeaky fit. This is a very good stick. It passes the final test, that is, the taper is snug and tight at both entry and exit. Thank you for watching. I will be adding more videos and tutorials, and if you are interested, then subscribe to my channel. Ray Welsh Chairs. <laughs>